hit a line like this at lunch hour and you tend to think you should have just gone and got lunch somewhere. Welcome to election 2020 in Hamilton County, where depending on the time of day, actually casting a ballot is a breeze. It's getting there that consumes the minutes. It's longer than getting the daggone car coming in than it is to vote. Really? Oh, absolutely. I mean, once you walk in the building, it wasn't it wasn't three minutes, four or five minutes. That worst, that worst, you know. Uh, but trying to get off the highway, getting in here was a pain in the butt. Sheriff's deputies worked the motorized line with pleasant efficiency, asking folks how they were doing, whether voting or dropping off, which can be the difference between turning left or staying straight. But now human drop boxes were added to the mix, bipartisan staffers collecting ballots and application requests from either direction, wearing blue vests and an elections badge. And they're followed by the sheriffs every time they take ballots in to make sure that they go to our room that is dual locked, Democrat and Republican. Early voting in Warren County is double what it used to be. They have signs showing estimated wait times. They have not had to use the one that reads one hour yet. It's just because of the social distancing, the six foot apart in line, makes it look a lot longer than it really is. We're told first thing in the morning and last thing in the afternoon are the most optimum times to vote early in Warren. Mid-morning is what Hamilton County recommends before the hunger to try to squeeze it in during lunch hour. And the fact that I could get in here today, get it done early, not stand in line on November 3rd, which I know is going to be crazy, makes all the difference in the world. And he's one of 300 to 350 an hour voting in Hamilton County on a daily basis. Here in Warren County, they're getting 1,400 to 1,800 that pass through here every day. The first day of early voting in Warren County surpassed the 2016 vote total for mail-in voting and in-person voting. Live in Warren County, John London, WLWT News 5.